Yeah, she's turned into a nice filly. She trained well all year. I've got a couple of two-year-old Ohio fillies that she trained with, and and she never was good at cutting the mile, but she always trained great from behind. But she's now she's raced a few times. She's learned what it's all about, and she will cut a mile, as you can see from the last line. Yeah, the last two lines, um, she's been on the front end, and uh, is this the way she prefers to sit? Uh, she seems to race, you know, better that way. I mean, I think she can race either way, but uh, she likes the front, yeah. Now, how would you like uh, her race to unfold? Uh, I kind of think he's, I mean, I leave it up to Jim. He's driven her for three starts in a row now. I didn't tell him how to drive anything, but I'm sure he'll leave with her. And, and uh, you know, if somebody comes at him, I'm sure he'll, you know, let him go and send him behind him or whatever. But however the race unfolds, you never know until the gate swings. Now, does she have any uh, other stakes uh, coming up? Uh, not till Delaware. She's in a late closing series back home. She's got a couple more legs out in the final coming up on Labor Day, and then she goes to Delaware, and uh, she stayed kind of lightly this year. Good luck with that, Evil Jen, and thanks for joining me, Scott. Thank you very much. Back to you, Roger, the paddock deck. Thank you, Carrie. It's post time. Had a qualifier today, a big.